Hello friends uh, and welcome back to the complete course of jQuery. Uh, we are just discussing about jQuery selector. In our last class we have uh, discussed about jQuery selector. So this is the coding you can see and you can launch in Chrome if you want. So you can see this is the result by just clicking this button you can change the color uh, of the text and background. So this is the result. And in this class, uh, we are just going to discuss about some more selector. Uh, just remove this all from body area and from style tag also, and from here also. jQuery selector is the title, just save. And uh, for example, uh, we are just going to create a div inside the body, div start. diff close I'm just writing here something welcome welcome to the welcome to header just like this this is the text welcome to header you can write anything here but uh, this is not important what should be here inside this div we are going to create a class or you can class ID equal to I am just giving the name for example you can give any name uh, I'm just giving the name D I double V so this will be the name just uh, duplicate this by pressing control plus D four to five time and uh, you can just save this uh, go to run menu and launch in Chrome so you can see we have just five header take here five diff so now you can just come here inside your script tag or you can say jQuery area code or you can just uh, insert a dollar sign then round bracket and dot again round bracket and semicolon inside the first one uh, with inside the single quotation you are just going to select uh, diff for example you want to just select the first one uh, diff header as you can see we have uh, five diff here with the same text and with the same uh, name class name so you want to just uh, go and select the first one so you can just select from here you can say diff you can just write here diff and after that put you you can put a colon here and you can just write here diff first so here after the dot sign you we are just going to use CSS and inside the round bracket we are going to insert parentheses single quotation colon again single quotation uh, you remember that uh, we are using comma for separate separating the element again single quotation again colon again single quotation for as many attributes you are using you can just put a uh, comma for separating and just uh, insert a, another single quotation with colon so it depends that how many attributes or properties you are going to use for example for the first one you are saying the background should be blue or you can say red and the text color text color should be yellow and you can say font size font size you can say something like 28 pixel you can save and check this just come here and refresh so you can see it has just applied on the first one so if you want to just select the last one you can write here div after uh, the colon you can write here last and save this control s to save refresh now you can see the last one is selected so for the first uh, and last one uh, you are just choosing after the colon first and last word as you have selected here uh, right now the last one is selected if you want to select the first one again you can just write here first save and refresh so if you want to just uh, select the uh, number two and number three number four you cannot write here uh, for example number third number second number four so you cannot uh, just uh, write like this 
but you can select uh, the event number or or number uh, just uh, the rule is after this div you are just writing here instead of first or last if you want to select even number so you are just uh, writing here even control s and refresh now you can see the even number is uh, selected uh, it is just starting from 0 1 and number 2 is selected number 3 number 4 so 0 is also called even number number 2 and number 4 these are called even number if you want to select or number so you can select or number or double D control S and refresh so now the odd number is selected 0 and number 1 number 2 number 3 number 1 and number 3 is selected you can see so if you want to just select uh, just one by one you want to just select uh, number 1 or you want to just select number 4 like this number 3 so there is another way uh, just by selecting uh, this you can just after this div and colon you can write here e q after eq uh, you are just going to insert a round bracket here inside this round bracket uh, you can just give any number for example number one control s come back and refresh now you can see number one is selected you want to select number two you can write here number two now you can see you want to select number four so you can select by giving the number control s and refresh now number four is selected if you want to just select number zero so you can just give here zero control s and refresh now number zero is selected so this is just the way of uh, selecting element so there is some more way for example inside this i am just putting this number two div one so you can just save from here you want to just uh, just without div one the other element should be selected with this uh, format but uh, div one or the uh, number one should not be selected or you don't want to give uh, styling for this one so you can just uh, just come here uh, you can just write uh, you can just remove this till here you can just write a div and after that a colon and you are just writing div not and after not you are just going to insert a round bracket here so you are just giving the class name inside the single quotation uh, just uh, not inside the single quotation you are just using dot d i double v one control s now just come here and refresh now you can see without div one we have selected others element other elements uh, you have just told here uh, just select all other elements just without not div1 it means you are not going to select div1 but uh, you are going to select other elements so you can see this is the result so if you are just going to change this to div and for example this is div3 so you are just writing here div3 control s and refresh so without div3 other divs are selected so there is one more way if you are just going to insert some heading tag here heading one star and heading one close for example this is heading tag tag and just uh, you can just duplicate this this heading two this one is also heading two heading three and this one is also heading three heading four and this one is also heading four control s to save come here and refresh now you can see we have heading tag so if you want to just select all of them at once so you can select you can just remove all of this from here from body area 
uh, not body area from inside the first parenthesis and you can put a colon you can just write here header simply Control S to save now just come here and refresh now you can see the header text are selected all four header text from heading 1 till heading 4 so like this you can just uh, define a new background for this for example uh, background red you can just copy this this two line or this one line you can copy control C you can paste here control V for example you are just going to select uh, all the diffs so you can just write here diff and you can just uh, say the background color should be blue the text color should be white and control s let's check it's working or not so it's not working why because we have used uh, classes inside this and in classes we have uh, name like diwv so if you are just uh, giving here uh, inside this uh, for example div control s let's check refresh so you can see it is working we have selected all of these also and all of these also but the different is uh, you have just uh, uh, you can select header with column and you can select the div without column so this was uh, the way of just selecting elements uh, that uh, you can just use inside uh, jquery to select the element so for this class uh, it is enough we will come back in next class and we will discuss about uh, some more selector so till next class again uh, like always uh, i'm just saying you that uh, watch the videos and do practice have a nice time and see you